Hello everyone. Right, so as you all know, I don't normally talk on my videos, but today is a slightly different day. We've just got our power back. Um, and it keeps coming and going. We've got Storm Eunice here and just uh, it's just mad out there. Anyway, so I'm supposed to be working and I'm not. Um, I promised you all that I would do a comparison um, between adding MDF sealer, which is this, um, to my paints to see if I get any kind of depth change or any kind of um, difference in how my blooms or my swipes um, uh, are working and the, the depth to the cells. So I'll show you again. This is what I've got. Um, some of you may have watched the purple and blue, I think it was, and black. <clears throat> purple and white and black and, and silver that I did using this. This was about five pound. Um, I don't have funds for polycrylic. Um, I'm in the UK, so I don't have easy access to Australian flow trial. So I'm trying to find something that's a cheaper option that will give me a good depth. So I've got, I have got, I've got red and yellow here. I have got my base black. These are all acrylic. I don't know if you can see how thick that is. Um, they're all acrylic paints. The red, yellow and black that I just showed you, they have a pipette, a full pipette in the yellow and the red of the MDF sealer. And in this cup of black, which was about two thirds full, that's got three pipettes. So I started with my glue, rather than doing a glue water medium mixed together, this time I uh, put my glue in, added my paint, mixed it well, then added the MDF sealer, which is actually really liquid. It's, um, if I can take the lid off and show you. So if you can see that. So that obviously thinned down the glue. Can you see that? That thinned down the glue and paint consistency. I then added a few drops of water just to thin it down. Now, I've also got here, looks the same. This is just glue mixed with the paint and then a few drops of water to change the consistency. The consistency is the same. And I've got the same with black. So these three don't have any MDF sealant in them at all. The first three that I showed you, they do. Now this is also my um, black acrylic with silicone in. This doesn't have any MDF in it. It's just acrylic, paint, glue, a little bit of water and uh, the full bottle had five drops of silicone uh, which is just normal treadmill silicone five small drops okay so we've got our base on here this is this is the same as this which has the MDF in it So all of these have got the sealant in. And in between each color, I'm going to add the silicone black. And I did notice when I watched a lot of blooms, rather than just pouring it straight into the middle, you kind of start in the middle and overlap your color going round so it's actually covering rather than spreading out. So start in the middle and go over. 
obviously a certain amount of it's going to stay in the middle but I think that maybe that's the knack of getting a, a, a better layering so this is silicone black again Last layer of silicone black. I do have really shaky hands. Probably not the best hobby to take up, as I've said before, with sil with uh, shaky hands. Right, here we go. Let's have a look and see what happens. So this is the MDF sealant. So we're starting to get some cells coming in already, obviously, from the silicone. Um, just a little tip that I've learned. When you're blowing blooms, I've watched so many videos where some people just blow straight into the center, but they don't actually blow that hard. All you're doing is just spreading that silicone out a little bit, and then you really want that, the, the cell activator to go over your layers and move your layers together if you can. So you really want a light blow across so take the cell activator across as well as moving your layers of paint if possible together so that you can get several colors coming through if you've layered your colors up i hope that makes sense and i hope i'm explaining that okay that's just what i found so i'm adding i'm torching this because i really want those cells to come through i know with the likes of or from what i've seen the likes of polycrylic and Floetrol. if you're not using silicone you don't tend to have to torch it it seems i don't have that option so i'm using silicone therefore i'm using a torch so we've got some really nice um cells come up we've got some multi-colored cells in here which is great where they've layered let's give it a spin Now they're actually quite crisp. Some of them have blended a bit. They're sort of almost greyed. But generally, I'll bring you down in a minute to have a look at those. They're okay. So let's bring you down. I've got the flash on at the moment. I'm sorry about the colour. This is actually yellow and um, yellow and red. That's why it's reflecting. So you've got, you can see, we've got some absolutely beautiful, crisp cells going on there, and that lacing as well. That's just lovely. Okay, moving on to, actually I'm just gonna turn the flash off and come back, hold on. Okay, so this is more of a natural color. Um, well, I say that, I'm trying to get as natural as I can get it. So that's with and without the flash, this is without the flash. But you can see we've got some really lovely cells going on there. Okay, so I'm going to come back in just a second and we'll start the next one without the MDF. Okay, so we're back. Uh, right, so this is the non-MDF sealant. 
Sorry about Dave barking there. So I'm going to try and replicate it as much as possible, size and everything. This is the black silicone. It's exactly the same, no sealant. Remember when you go around, try to lap over your previous colour. Just add a little bit more red there. So that your layers come in nicely. So go round the outside from the centre. This is going on a little walkabout, this is. Let's take that back to the middle a second. And the last layer of silicone. Okay, let's go in and have a look. Just pop that bubble there. Okay, so the cells are coming through, same as last time. Obviously, because we've got silicone in it. Let's give it a torch. Now I can see already that as crisp as they are, they don't look as crystal. They seem a bit, a little bit blurry to me, but let's give it a spin and see. Okay, so we've got some really nice cells again going on there. But I do, I mean, without comparing them next to each other, which I'm going to do in a minute, I think that there is a difference. I think the other ones, let's bring you down to have a look. I think with the MDF, it definitely was more crystal to me, but... What I mean by that is I think that this without, with just the glue and the water, they seem to have, I don't know, maybe the colours have mixed, is that what I'm trying to say? The colours have mixed a little bit, they haven't held their own so much. Right, let's get the two together and we can have a look. Okay, so here they are. This is the first one. This is the MDF. Um, lots of really nice double coloured cells there. 
lots of them that's really held the colour well. All of this, a little bit of ghosting here, around the outside. Um, but actually, those colours have held really well. The lacing has held well. Looks good, I like that. And we come over to this one, and I call it ghosting. It's just, the colour is not as strong. There's a lot of blending going on. This is the one without the MDF sealant sorry for my shaking hands we still have got some um double you know the the double layered cells coming in through here but to me the colors have blended a lot more they're not as crisp the lacing doesn't seem as sharp as this one over here I mean, I can really see the difference. That's just, to me, that's amazing. So, in my opinion, the MDF sealant does have an effect. They were done in exactly the same way. You've got a lot of blending going on here on this one, which was just glue and water. You've got a lot of loss of colour. Obviously, the... I say just glue and water, the silicone cell activator on top um, has got silicone in it. But yeah, there you go. I'd really love to know your thoughts on this. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, um, constructive criticism, but there you have it. That is the comparison from using MDF sealant in with glue and water and this is my preference. Have a lovely day, stay safe everyone, um, hopefully Storm Eunice is going to pass quickly and we can all get back on track with our normal lives and that means I have to go back to work so I'll do another video soon. Take care everyone. Bye.